Okay, I am ready to starch uh, my two pieces that I recently finished. But I also need to first tuck this end, weave it in. So this is how I usually do it. I will use my needle and then if I will be successful I will try to put it through this eye of the needle. Here we go, I did it. <laughs> okay, and uh, I just pull. All weaved in, perfect. So let's go and starch now. We will use about half a cup of water and put it in a little saucepan. Now while the uh, water is heating up, we are going to go and mix our potion. Take about one eighth of a cup of water and about one and about one tea, uh, tablespoon of cornstarch and mix, mix it. Mix the potion, okay? As soon as water is boiling, uh, start pouring slowly the mixture into the water and, and stir the water so it, uh, the clumps don't form, okay? We don't want any clumps there. And keep mixing until it boils and cooks. It takes about a minute or so to um, to be cooked. This is about the consistency. I'm gonna take it off. This is about the consistency of the. Uh, of the starch and um, it's going to cool off a little bit and thicken as well and then uh, when it's cooled off we will dip our crocheted items into this cooked starch. Uh, I wanted to say something. Oh, oh, I made another video how to cook this in the microwave oven. Um, although that's a very quick idea, I like this this way to cook it on a stove top much better because we do not get mo uh, any clumps. In the microwave oven we usually get clumps. Now I washed my um, crocheted uh, snowflake and my bell and the next thing is to stretch it somehow so it retains this shape. So I came up with the idea, which is kind of primitive, but I don't care, it will work. Uh, I, I decided to use a ball of yarn, but it has to be tall and not too fat. So I've been winding it tightly and turning it uh, lengthwise, okay? Just, I don't do it this way and this way, no, 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 oops. Um, I just do it lengthwise this way so it uh, builds up high, okay? It has to build up high. So this is how we uh, need to do it. And then I will tuck this end. I cut off a piece of, uh, a piece of plastic bag here and I will put this in the middle and I will wrap it like this and put a rubber band around it. So it stays inside the plastic bag. So now the, what we need to do is dip it. Watch out, don't do it in a hot, uh, with hot With too hot, it cooled off already a little bit. So I will squeeze this 
Okay. And now I will go to an area where I will pin it. We will put it like this and we will pin it. Okay, so I put uh, a smooth cloth over my sofa here and I will take my um, bell, put it in here uh, facing with this um, ball down and and then I start pinning it to my sofa just like this in each we need to do it in each of these fans you need to oh, let me go in there you might see better just a little bit like that just spread it out a little bit do it this way maybe you will see better okay, and then this one here just a little bit maybe this is too far maybe make it a little closer there And now this one. If you have smooth surface cloth with smooth surface, it doesn't usually stick to it as much. Okay, now this way. And one more. This way. And this one needs to be stretched out a little bit more. Okay. Now I will arrange this ball in such way so it dries that way. Now you can speed up uh, drying by blow drying with the blow dryer. Okay, so this is how I dry my bells. And also, I wanted to show you right here, I already stretched out my star that I made the other day. And here we are the next day. I let it dry over the overnight. Sometimes I blow dry it. And here it is. Our our bell. We need to unglue it. There. See, it's uh, now we are ready to put the little ball in there. And here is our snowflake or star or whatever. Uh, it looks like a star, but it's also a snowflake. So let's take these out. See, much easier to take it off than of the paper that I was uh, using uh, in the other video. So we need to fold the string in such way that this end overlaps a little bit when we are going to make the um, the knot. And I kind of measure approximately to the top of this bell. Okay, so this length with the ball is about the length of the, uh, the bell. Okay, and then I'm holding this now. I have this uh, tail. I fold it up in here. Turn it around because I'm right-handed. And then I make a knot. I just make a knot with everything and with this end being in the knot and do it as close to your fingers as possible you see 
kind of like this. Okay. Then I take hook. I put it through this hole that we have in there. And I grab it right there. Pull it through like this. See, and it's it stays there and now I will go and make one more knot. Don't make it too tight because you don't want it to go through that little hole. So I make a little knot and I push it down. Push it down so it stays as close to the bell as possible. And that's how I make my bell. And here is your ball in a bell. Well, uh, that's it. That's my third video that is from the series How to Make the Bell. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much and I will see you another time. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you can subscribe. And more videos are coming your way.